Um, hi, my name is Julie Fox. I'm a curator for Hayward Gallery Touring based in London and I work nationally. Um, I'm also an academic. Uh, so hi, so my name is Daniel Trividi. I'm a multidisciplinary artist uh, and I'm based in South Wales. Um, I suppose third place is Gareth Lai and it was um, they're actually two separate words, but mm. we're putting them together. There's uh, two works called There, There You Are and Tada. And yeah, there are these mm. amazing little, uh, how would you call them? They yeah, are I suppose quite fantastical that. arrangements, but you say that they're, they're in Neath. Yeah, so, so they're based on real places, but the artist has definitely took his, no, I know those places, and he's definitely taken his imagination for a walk there. And um, they just draw you in, There's, you know, you, they're really small, and kind of quite detailed and you're just drawn into that detail, what's going on here? And they're just playful and fun yeah. and colourful and um, yeah, uh, and it's just, it's just a leap of the imagination. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. They draw in so much different mm. visual imagery and references from all over mm. the world as well. There's all these different like, touchstones that I was just like, oh, it's brilliant. So to bring all of that and, and place it in like a localised context mm. of like the I mean, my bus came by and each on the way in, so yeah. <laughs> it's okay. in location to Sunday. It's really good. Um, <laughs> so, second place. Uh, Carrie Evans, uh, a woman with a pineapple. The space, the, the, the kind of composition, the space, um, you're really not kind of quite sure what the woman, woman's thinking. Yeah. She's holding this pineapple, you're not really sure why she's holding the pineapple. It just gives you a certain feeling. Uh, yeah. I'm not even sure what that feeling is, but it, it just speaks to you in, in some way on a really human level. Yeah, I agree totally. And what I love about it is how the defineness of the face versus, say, the pineapple, mm -hmm. which is, it's like more an impression of the pineapple than it is real. So she slip, flips between these two very different ways mm. of deploy, deploying and painting, which is something quite realistic to something that is clearly just like uh, an assemblance of what a pineapple should be. Mm. So, and yeah, perfect off-centering, really good brush strokes, mm. mm. really interesting. I thought that whole piece was... And, and just some spaces of really flat colour. Oh, ah, yeah. Which is yeah, beautiful. And yeah. then you look at it and you realise there's loads and loads of layers that it's been built up over time so you really get the sense. Yeah, I think, it. I think yeah. it's a really great, mm. really, really great painting. Mm. So the, the first prize winner of Swansea Open is Carol Dierschuk and it's called The Unreality of Time. And it's actually, I think we were both stunned by this work because we haven't been able to work it out because it is actually, it's a photograph that looks so incredibly like a painting, but a painting that's been done of a photograph. So, it, it's incredibly confusing and brilliant, and I, I can't I can't take my eyes off it actually. I, I found myself returning to it again and again. And you said you're not really somebody mm. that responds that much to photography. Mm. I mean, that's my background, so yeah. I'm, like, I'm straight in. But even I was like, this is super confusing. I think again, um, it, it's the depth, yeah, the depth in that work. You know, right from the, the snowflakes at the front, but then you peer right into it to see so far back. And then it's really clear in the centre of the image, and you can sort of just delve into it. And it's yeah. just beautifully composed, it's evocative, it just, again, it just draws you in, and it just gives you a certain type of feeling. Again, I can't really describe what that feeling is, but it's kind of, that's what's so nice about it. Yeah. It's like, it's not, you get something different. And I imagine seeing it on different days, you'll get something different each time you look at it. And I mean, it totally sits within a strong tradition within painting as well. Like it's a painterly photograph. Mm, absolutely. And um, and yeah, the feeling of the uncanny that's all mm. there because it feels so something like we've mm. all experienced very recently. It has has this amazing resonance. Mm. Yeah, I was. I mean, uh, all brilliant. But hats off. Mm.